Today I'm going to show you how to set up a phantom wallet. Now just like how Ethereum's got MetaMask for its wallet, Solana, which is also another layer one, has the phantom wallet. And if you want to start taking advantage of all of the gains that people are seeing across Solana assets, then you need the phantom wallet. All right, so let's begin. Let's talk about how do you go about setting up this wallet. So now step number one is get the right link. There are so many scams out there. They're out there to get Get you in ways you didn't think they could actually get you in. Now, how do you get the right link? Well, honestly, I just follow a very, very simple process. Well, get into Twitter, get into the search bar on the top right hand side corner, and well, just type in Phantom. You'll find this logo right here. This is the official page of the Phantom wallet. One way to verify if you're on the right page is just look for that golden tick mark. All right, when you find that, that tells you that, okay, this is the verified page. Then scroll down into the description, the bio of the profile, and you're going to find the right link on here that's going to take you into the Phantom app. It's phantom.app. All right, I will be linking this down in the description below. So if you want like easy access to it, you can just go ahead and click on that. Now, as soon as I click on that link, I will be taken to the main Phantom app page. Now, if I go ahead and click on download on the top right hand side corner of my screen, now you can either download the application for your desktop. They support a bunch of browsers, Firefox, Chrome, Edge and Brave. Um, now I'm using Chrome, so we'll be going for that. But if you scroll down a little further, you can also download the application for your mobile. So depending on whether you have an iPhone, phone or you have an Android, if you click on it, you'll be given a QR code that you can then scan with your phone. It'll probably take you into the application where you can go ahead and install it on your phone. But for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to be downloading it for our Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and install the plugin that's going to be added into my Chrome extensions. Now, as soon as I click on that, I'm going to be taken into the Chrome web store where it's going to give me the phantom application. I can go ahead and say add to Chrome and it's going to add the extension. All I've got to do is click on add extension. Now there's a little pop up that says phantom has been added added into my Chrome extensions and I am immediately presented with this page. It says get started, create a new wallet or import an existing one. Now for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to be creating a brand new phantom wallet. So go ahead and click on create a new wallet. So now your first prompt is going to be to create a brand new password. So go ahead and create a password. Um, it's going to ask you to confirm the password. Now make sure it is a strong password and not a medium password like mine because uh, phantom will shame you for it by telling you that it's a medium level password. But any Anywho, this is a demonstration. I'm going to click on I agree to the terms of service and continue. Now, the second prompt you're going to get is your secret recovery phrase. And this is the most important step when you are creating any wallet. This phrase is the only way to recover your wallet. Do not share it with anyone. Just in case your computer goes down, all your data gets erased, you need to get back into your wallet. It is this secret recovery phrase that's going to help you get access to your funds once again. And that is why it is a very, very important step. Now these 12 words that you see on my screen is my secret recovery phrase. The 12 words you're going to see on your screen is going to be completely different, but it's just taking this time right now, noting down these 12 words and storing it away in a very safe place. Now, once you've done that, you can click on I save my secret recovery phrase and click on continue. Now, this next step is optional, but I usually like pinning my wallet onto my browser. That way I have quick access to it. The one way to do it is to click on that extension button on the top right hand side corner of your browser. It looks like a puzzle piece and then you're going to see phantom under your extensions. All you got to do is click on the pin and that's going to pin the phantom wallet onto your browser. If I go ahead and click on it, it's going to give me this pop up asking me to enter my password to log into the wallet. So let's go ahead and enter the password that we created when we first created the wallet. Now I've copied my password. I'm going to go ahead and paste it and click on unlock. As soon as I unlock the wallet, I have now been taken into my phantom wallet. Now right off the bat, you're going to see that my balance is zero. Now because this is a brand new wallet, I have not transferred any funds into it just yet. This reflects zero because there's nothing in it. It's completely empty. If I scroll down, there's a default list of coins and its corresponding balance. There's Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin and Polygon. And actually what this really represents is all the chains that the phantom wallet 
actually supports. That's right. The Phantom Wallet supports four chains, guys. If you go ahead and hover over account, you'll find that you have four different addresses. You got one for Solana, you got one for Ethereum, you got one for Polygon, and you actually have one for Bitcoin now. So Bitcoin is the latest addition onto the Phantom Wallet. Now, of course, I don't want to confuse you guys. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're only going to be focusing on Solana coins. Okay, so we're going to be buying and selling assets on the Solana chain and then taking those assets and storing it into our Phantom wallet. But needless to say, I really like the Phantom wallet because of the amount of chains it actually supports. Now, since we're already here, you can actually go ahead and rename your wallet. Now, because I don't like account one, let's go ahead and rename this to tutorial. And now you can see that my wallet has officially been renamed to Mango Tutorial for a lack of any creativity on the name. So now that we have our Phantom wallet all set up, I want you guys to look at the footer menu. Okay, so the first tab, which we're currently on, is your balances. If I hover over the second tab, it shows me my collectibles, essentially NFTs. The third tab is a swap. So if you want to swap some Solana for USDC or vice versa, you can do this right here. Once again, I have nothing in my wallet, so I can't really test that out for you just yet. Your fourth tab is recent activity. So every time you do have a swap or you do trade any coin using your Phantom wallet, it appears right here. That way there's a nice, very neat log of it. Once again, we will be testing it out in the next video. This fourth tab tells you exactly where you can trade coins being traded on the Solana chain. Now, right here, it says trending and all networks. Now, I'm not interested in all networks. Remember, as far as the Phantom Wallet is concerned, you can trade on the Solana blockchain, the Ethereum blockchain, the Polygon blockchain, and the Bitcoin blockchain. But I, for one, I'm interested in only trading coins on the Solana chain. So where can I find those coins? So I want you guys to get into that all networks drop down and just filter out Solana, right? As soon as I click on that, it, it gives me all of the applications where I can actually trade Solana coins on. So we got Jupiter, which is one of the most popular ones. We got Radium, which is also very popular. Pump.fun, Drip, BirdEye, Deck Screener, Magic Eden, Tenzer, Camino, and Jupe Dow. Now these places where you can buy and sell coins on, they're called dApps. I want you guys to think of dApps as storefronts, just like how we'd have a Walmart and Amazon, just like that. These are all just storefronts. And every time you walk into a store, what do you really carry with you in order to buy goods? Well, you carry your wallets. So Phantom right here is the wallet, and these are all just stores. This essentially just gives you a list of stores that you can go to and use this wallet on. Now, because I just want to get Solana coins, I can just go to Jupiter. And on Jupiter, I can now go ahead and buy coins being traded on the Solana chain. But now, is this all you need to know in order to safely use the Phantom Wallet to buy and sell coins on the Solana chain? No, absolutely not. The thing about trading coins on chain, guys, trading any asset on chain, is that literally anyone can go ahead and create a coin on chain. And a lot of times you're going to find clones of certain coins that you're looking at, except those clones could be scams. And if you go ahead and invest in a scam, chances are you're not getting that money back. Chances are you're not going to be able to sell it for anything. So now in the next video, we're going to be buying and selling coins on the Solana chain. However, I'm going to show you how to do it safely, how to make sure that you're always selecting the right coin and not a scam coin. So this is the video on my screen. Click on it. I'll see you guys there. Ciao.